Hey there, you. I appreciate you. Welcome back. So sad. K -K -K. K -K -K. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got Prada on my whole ass. What's going on guys, it's your man C to the J to the C, y'all already know how I be, straight from the 305 Miami-Dade County, and welcome to my channel if you just joining us, the best story time on YouTube, if you want the best story time on YouTube, the laugh, the tears, the cry, the story of my life and getting to know me as we go on to this journey, then hit the subscribe button, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell as well, because YouTube tripping, if you don't hit the bell, they'll let you know that I dropped the video days or weeks later, if you hit the bell once i upload bam you get the notification and you know and i just want to say i appreciate y'all for all the people that's tuning in every time and we just growing every time and shout out to uh, the, the 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 top uh, story time tellers i'm just trying to get there but we just gotta make it through so today i'm gonna continue like part two of how i fell my first class ever at ucf as you guys know i fell two classes well, from part one if you didn't see part one Stop and pause this video right now and go watch part one. I'll wait. I think you always want to watch part one before part two. Like, I don't understand this. All right. So those who didn't see part one is gone and they will go and watch part one now. And those of you who, who did see part one, welcome back. We're going to continue this. This is part two. It's a three part to this. So I'm going to say everything, but it's three parts to this. Stay tuned for part three, but this is part two. Welcome back, guys. Your man C said J to the C, but y'all know how I do it. No time to converse. Now I'm birthed from the old western, like wild earth. All right, so um, how I felt my first. So like continuing off, like when I found out the night before graduation, my whole family was already in Orlando. They came all the way from Miami. So how do you tell a family that that traveled so far and was here nights before that you're that you're not technically graduating? You failed two class. I was going through a lot, a lot of things processed through my mind because this never happened to me in my life. Like it was like tears of anger because why me? Like I, every time, like why it had to happen at the end? All mid elementary school, middle school, high school, all the two years of college, like the the first couple of semesters at UCF. All this time, I never fell a class. I always stayed consistent. Always kept faith in God, and I never fell a class. And then this happened at the end of the road. Not the beginning, but the end of the road, the end of my school career. It happens at the end to stall me from resting, to relaxing, to find starting career and to get this life shit going. So it was really like um, heavy in my heart. And it was really like something that I didn't know what to do. I called one of my closest friends in Miami, Jesus, and I, and I called him. I told him, bro, I'm not I'm not technically graduating. He said, what do you mean? Your graduation is in like four hours. He said, I was calling you to say congratulations. He was even going to get me a car. Like. And Sue was so happy for me because me and him started our like from the rough grounds to Miami Dade College. We did two years and then we went our separate ways. He went to Temple University, shout out to him, in Philadelphia. And then I moved to UCF. Then his mom got sick. He moved back to Miami, transferred from Temple to FIU. And it was better for him because in Temple, when you're by yourself, like, um, staying constantly on your food, paying bills, and like in a whole different city, and out of state fees because you weren't born in Philadelphia, it was a lot for him. But back to this, but it's like a lot she was going through my mind. And there's two classes, but I'm just telling y'all like the the process of that first class. So we back to managerial economics and managerial economics. Like uh, I was like in tears, I was in tears, angry, like and misunderstood. Jesus on the phone, he's like, bro, like I know like what you. I know what your thought process now, because this never happened to you. Even I'm shocked. I, I'm in loss of word. I don't even know what to say. You make you feel better. I said, bro, graduation is in four hours, bro. I'm, 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 I'm like, like some people would not sleep because of over anxiety, but I'm not sleeping to find out. Like I check my final grades if I felt two classes. And remember, those are the classes that I was even worried about because I was killing them so much. And I felt like I was doing so great in those classes. Why I worry? And they end up being the two classes that stabbed me in the back of the trooper. And remember, what the professor said he told me to go talk to my group and they gave me a 75 out of 100 75 out of 100 saying oh is this a 75 percent it's not 75 percent you stupid dumbasses he told us in the beginning of the semester first day of class compared to other classes meaning compared to other classes 
the points away from 100 is only going to be so whatever your final grades is the peer evaluation only deducts points from your final grade if you get 100 out of 100 you just stay at the grade you're at but if you're get losing point so when they gave me a 75 out of 100 for that peer evaluation that 25 points missing was deducted from my final grade and i failed manager economics a class i told y'all i was going to his business his group every day i tried to be involved in all that shit and for this to happen to me at the end of the road when i thought i was done with my school career and i was gonna graduate college make my mom proud my family proud i came from a rough part this was my moment this was like tears in my eyes like i was waiting for this for my whole life i moved from the hood i got out i moved to orlando i did all of this to fail to fail why lord why and that's why i kept that was going through my mind it was like so much emotion so much anger and basically like um the same thing like for project management well, we're going to get to that story in part three of project management because that's a whole nother bag because when i tell y'all uh, project management but manager economics is back to that i was upset about that too because i really felt i did my part to pass and then you're telling me people decide my fate a group of people that i do never gonna see in my life again and if they say oh and our major is learning to work with others because in a business world you're gonna learn to work with others I, I'm a great guy. People love being around me. They always say great personality, great shit, all of that stuff. So I know how to be around people. I know how to interact with people. But peer, you thinking of putting us in group for every single class in my major is going to get us prepared to work with other personalities. I know how to deal with this personality, but nobody got time to basically go throughout the whole semester sucking like people with dick and basically like stroking their egos to make sure oh and babysit them just to make sure they give you a great peer evaluation because they make peer evaluation worth, worth so much percent of your final grade in my major and i'm sick and tired of that that was the stupidest shit i ever seen like it's like if someone's going to graduate make them decide their their fate make them basically see if they're going to graduate or not make them decide their destiny and how they're going to the path of school but if you play in other people's hands to basically decide if they fail or pass, or if they see the career world or not, that's like the stupidest thing I ever made. And that was my major in great business. Groups in every class, peer evaluation at the end of every semester. So it's like, it was time. So basically when they failed me, it was just like, it was demoralizing. And then I, I, I just, I, uh, thoughts of, of dropping out came to my mind so many times. Cause I feel like it might be the only way. It's like, it's like people said, you work too hard, you got too far to drop out now. These are just two classes. And the best part, and how how I see a blessing at that time is that in college, you get two um, great forgivenesses. Two great forgivenesses where you basically could take the class and then if you get a better grade, it replaces your old grade. Two great forgiveness. And if you don't have those great forgiveness, you have to take that class and get an A for it. A like the chance of you getting an A in a class that you already failed is kind of slim just to make it clear to you but great forgiveness makes you if you like get a C or like just do better than you did the time before it replaces the grade so I end up failing two classes knowing in your college career you get two great forgiveness God thank God I never failed a class before these two classes so I had two great forgiveness that was never used so I was able to use those two great forgiveness for those final two classes so it was just like bro it was a lot of conversation that had to happen because it, it was a whole month of me being in a room a dark place like i didn't want to talk to nobody like it was just like i feel like no one understood what i was going through because i never felt class before and i feel like for for the ways i failed those classes like y'all gotta find out why i felt project management if you think this stupid peer evaluation of me felt when you find out why i felt project management in part three you're gonna understand how like why am i frustrated maybe at the end of the video i'm gonna tell y'all how i felt project management part three then part three tell you the whole story of like and all stuff so um manager economics so after all of that of like of like of like depression of like going through so much i basically finally made a decision like to take the classes now there was space left in the summer for those two classes when i tried to apply those two classes i couldn't then i had to call ucf and it was a whole process because they told me once you graduate because i still did walk graduation came um i walked that day all my friends were happy i tried to hide it from my family like th during graduation hiding my face like like smiling in their face fake smiling while it's tearing my eyes then when i walked that stage and i, I just expected like uh, my family to cheer then when you heard people say ah, see, yeah, we made it. 
that made tears that made me have to fight so hard for tears because i expect so much people cheer me so much friends i made in the two years at ucf so much people that basically like the trials the tribulations you went through we fought through it all and we all made to this moment they was happy to see me and it was like it was an eruption when i went on that stage like people because i'm a great guy like i told y'all everybody loved me like it's just like i always understand i understand the popular kids i understand the the quiet kids because i'm a quiet person but i also like i'm a, a happy like funny person i'm the funniest person you got me there is nobody funny than me we're not gonna even argue but look like it's like it was such a great moment for me to see that so much people were so happy to see me on that stage getting that college degree and you know like you don't get it until but it's just a paper because the reality was i failed those two classes so basically after that um like i said i was going through months and then graduation happened like my mom went back my family went back to miami never knowing that i failed it was just like i, I kept a straight face and i had to confront the professors like i told you one professor i'm gonna tell you our project management what she said and the other professor said check with your group check with my group they end up giving me a 75 on job fell. So then if summer came, I tried to apply for those two classes, I couldn't. And they said, once you graduate, your name is taken out the system. So now what you gotta do is basically like, um, um, go to our office and make sure, make them put you back in the system for this, the college of business. So basically it was a whole process. I finally got my name back in the college of business system. And when I finally got my name back in the system, I, when I finally got it back in the system, it is like um i had two kind of project management manager economic project management went missing it wasn't available for summer anymore i was pissed off but i think god works in a mysterious way because he knew maybe it's, it's not smart to take two classes at this those two classes at the same time in summer eight but yeah like basically like um project uh manager economic had two spots left and it was kristen alessi i had kristen alessi for financial for financial man what, what is it called again financial um management uh i forgot what it was financial diploma financial perform something financial something i had a um two semester ago i passed this class but i had a group that basically understood my laziness but we were a great group and they gave me a great pay value i passed this class i took it before but i remember like how like my friends was in that class with me and if it wasn't for them who knows like it was all of us like messaging each other back and forth like when we was like outside of class working on the homework together so i'm saying what if i take a lesson again but this is that but then again manager economics i had the answers to i had a folder and i had the answers to all the the homeworks for manager economics in that folder i also had like work uh, um, assignments that like basically works i did throughout the the whole semester when I took it the first time. So taking the first time, I saved my notes. And that's something y'all gotta learn. Like saving notes, you never know what could happen. Save those notes, answers to the homeworks, I was ready. And basically, even though I was scared, I applied. It was two spots left. I got that, um, I got one of those spots and then bam. I was, and I was like, if it doesn't, if I see in the first week, like it's not gonna be so well, I'll just like drop the class and then I'll start again in the fall. So here's what happened. So basically I went and yeah, the class started. I was in a group for like a, a week. There was someone else not supposed to be in class. Then finally he left and someone else, they dropped the class. Since the class came shorter, the group that I was in, he basically split all of us. So he didn't pick no other group, but he basically felt like it shouldn't be 11 groups. I think God was working, bro, because um, it was 11 groups, so he, he chose to split my group so it could be 10 groups. He split us and sent us to different groups, and the group he said to me, send, sent me, sent me to, um, hold up. So yeah, the group he sent me to was um, a great group, and the foot the re where, where I, I went, I basically went to pick up my cell phone because I still have the group me of basically the team that I was in, and they were such a great team that I I, I just like I didn't want to forget them because it's just like your yeah, project management, okay, uh, manage your economics. There we go. So this was just such like I love this team. So it was. Um, in my team was Adam, Juan, Carly, and Virginia. Virginia was a mom. She had kids. She was also a photographer. Adam, uh, I don't know if y'all can see him. Da, 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 da. Adam has like this as he's like, he's in the, but yeah, y'all probably can't see it. Um, 
There go Juan. That's my guy. Juan. Can y'all see him? He took a picture in New York. That's him standing there. But yeah, like, um, that's why I, I still haven't deleted the group, group me app. I know it takes space, but it's just like those great memories. Because it's I have so much groups from, from group me. And, and you get to reminisce of the great moments in college. But yeah, like, like I said, like that group that I was in for the summer, like Juan, Carly, I could describe all of them. Juan, Juan was like a cool laid back. Just imagine a dude, like dude guy, like the dude guy. Like basically he was a laid back, cool guy. And he was also a guitarist. You could also think of like rated rock and roll, but he was a cool, awesome guy. And um, yeah, Virginia, like I said, she was a mom. But Virginia was more like, um, you would think she was slow at first. That's what my thoughts of her was like slow and she's gonna slow our group down. That's what I thought. So Juan was a cool, awesome guy. Adam was like the geek in the group, but because Adam was like Mr. Know It All. But me, the best part they, had, the best part of having me, I had all the answers to the group um, assignments. Like the group assignments we did, we did in the class, we do in the class. <clears throat> I had all the answers because um, I had the answer, I had the work and the answers from my first group, the the fucking idiots that failed me. Oh, sorry, I forgot YouTube. The idiots that failed me, I had the answers for, uh, yeah, for them. Uh, I had the answers from from that group, so, uh, and the paperwork, and I also had answers from Chris. One of my friends, Chris, basically sent me the, um, the assignments and answers from his group work. So I had two groups, and I had like that. So I had all the answers, basically, all, all those things. So, like I said, Adam was a geek. Carly was like, the cool Korean girl. Like Carly was Filipino. She was Filipino. Carly was awesome, cool. She was like a dude type of person too, like surfing. So Carly was great. You you ever saw um Hawaii Five O and, and Kono? Think of Carly as Kono, but besides the subtract the fighting. But yeah, like I said, Adam, Juan, Virginia, Carly, and and and, and Juan. so Juan, cool, laid back guy. Adam, geek. Virginia, I thought was the slowest, and Carly, um. Filipino awesome girl so yeah like when I first got in that group I wouldn't do everything myself it, it just I was still demoralized so for the next three weeks when I first moved to that group I ain't say none of them I did every assignment and every time uh, um, Professor Alessi graded 100% 100% and he's like it's funny like how everybody have an A and stuff like that but the best group by far is the group that has CJ and I ain't say a word and shit like that they were, and then basically I kept all doing assignment then one day Juan cool guy Juan basically said hey stop and Carly said yeah and stuff like that like I'm gonna get them like this they said you've been doing all the work and yeah we began 100 but you've been doing all the work for the past three weeks and we f and you haven't said a word to us we want to help too like there's a group and so it's there's a group assignment so we want to pitch in and basically like um you can't be doing all the work and expect us not to do anything so I'm just looking at them and I'm staring at them in the eyes and the reason why I was staying out there, I said, should I tell them, like, should I befriend them? Should I trust these people that's going to do my peer evaluation at the end? And then finally, I was like, I think I can. And then I basically looked at him and said, like, like when we introduced him, I said, this is my second time taking this class. And I told him what happened. I said, peer evaluation, they gave me a 75 hours on 100. It's like, damn, man. And I'm like, yeah, 25 points deducted. They said, we would never do that. So I said, that, that's effed up why they did that. Like, like um, people should like, play with people like that too like like make them fail themselves but like if you have an op option to fail or pass someone just like bro like I, if they don't do nothing but if you see they really trying just the shit like just like don't just fail them playing this and we would never do that dude and when i saw how grave people they was i just started working with them and like the, what i love about my group they trusted the answers i got so it was just like doing the answers but they also went and learned so adam the geek and, and virginia who i thought was so adam and virginia was always on it so while they basically i gave the answers me and Warren carly would just be like relaxing carly would want to do uh, um, some work too so carly would be like hey guys like let me put it to that but um 
but yeah like basically carly would just like want to do work sometimes and every even though i do the answer she said she would be like she want to do the work and she said okay cj like what, what your answer say so that's what it would be like that so virginia and was the same way they went they didn't want to keep on relying on my answers but my answers getting us 100 percent. and those i did get we try to do it and i'll I, it, i'll be having flashbacks say, oh i remember this assignment and we'll be doing it then wall wall would just lay back like you know like, y'all already got it and then wall would be like checking it and shit like that and we'll be checking i'm like is the answers that i was on still like we already know it's right because the answer like when i took the class prior but yeah, it was like a, it was a great group, man. We love interacting. We talked about cool stuff. And then Juan used to drop me home. And one thing Juan said, I didn't know how I feel about it. Juan was like this, like, I know you don't want to hear this, but I'm actually glad you failed manager economics the first time. And I'm looking at him like this, like, what the F, nigga? And then he, but uh, I didn't say, I'm just thinking that in my head. And then he said, because I feel like if you did it, if, if you wasn't taking the class right now, I don't know where we would be as a group because we, we really like rely on you, man. And I'm like this, like, it was like a touching thing. Like I knew where he was coming from when he said, I'm happy you fell, but then it was kind of mad. But then you like, you understood what he what he was coming from. He wasn't coming from like a, like I'm happy you fell type place. Like I'm, he just coming from like a, if, if you weren't here with us in the group, we on the way, and, 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 to, to, and to think, I, I would have been in that group with a, a, a bunch of smart mouths, but I'm happy that one person left that made um, the, the professor decide he don't want no 11 people to split my group. Cause I ended up with a great group my, that was by far probably the best group I had in my major because you know every class we had a group but like they top three I had other great groups I'm, I'll tell y'all that another time but they top three by far because it's just like it was great person like Virginia touching her and I, someone who I thought was so she really got going Adam Geek and it was his final semester too Juan cool awesome guy Carly Filipino laid back we were just like the perfect group and you know what I love about this group when it came to the peer evaluation, we did in front of each other. And then we show each other the score we gave each other. And then I, I gave all of them 100 and I showed them. And when peer evaluation came, we are turning 100. And when we took the exams, it was more like, what did you study? I knew exactly what to study because I took the class prior. So I knew what to look at, how to study. And then we always get certain, but Adam was killing it. Adam like, I don't know, like what the F? This guy was getting ages to lie. Me, I was studying, but I, even though I took the class, and I, I, there was one exam, I think it was the second exam. I had a 90, bro. That was the easy exam. I finished that shit in like, two minutes like bro i was going in on exam two for manager economics like second time taking it but it was just like a great like it was experience like that demoralizing recovery and shit like that struggling like we, we fought in that class we, we had to go on board answer some questions it was just like back and forth but it was like an interactive class you got to see people that was taking it for the first time tell them what to expect and all that shit and when it was all said and done like the class went by fast summer was over and then we all said goodbye to each other. It was a great group. And I ended up, I passed um, manager economics the second time around with a B plus. B plus, your boy passed with a B plus. And that was like the first road to recovery. It was project management left, but I, I thank God that I passed the second time. And it was like a humbling experience because I knew I did great the first time, but I knew I was leaving the class, really not like relying on other people and not really remembering shit. But the second time I do take it, you were forced to like revisit all of this stuff, remember all this stuff. If you ask me now, I don't remember shit. Like I told you, once I pass the class, I, I, I don't ask me that. You can ask me the next semester. I'll be like, I forgot everything. Like for me, it was just like, do whatever it takes to do to pass the class while you in there. And when you out the class, you gone, like out of my face and shit like that. But man, like humbling experience, past manager economics with B plus. And after that, I was like, just like, I was ready. And project management, it was a, a, like a summer, summer be filled up. I was upset about that. So I had to apply with project management with the same professor that I had the first time. How did that turn out? How did I feel? Y'all gotta stay tuned for part three. But I wanna thank y'all, man, for joining. I know this was kind of longer than I usually do, but it's like, this is part two. I had to tell y'all how manager economics happened, the whole graduation thing, how I was in graduation, the applause, the ovation I got, the family, a fake smile in front of them, all of that good shit. So check out my story time playlist. It got all the story time for all the past. If y'all wanna really enjoy our, like a whole hours and hour of like great story time, check out my story time playlist on my channel. I'm adding all the new story times as we go on. And also like, th there's more, to come man just look out for it and i just want to like say like i appreciate y'all and just like look 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 out for shit and i, I just want to say um 
like, subscribe, comment. It's your man. Y'all already know it's your man C to the J to the C. And y'all already know how it be. Be breezy.